Okay, everybody, welcome back to Dave's Cheap Eats. It's Happy Friday and it's dinner time. Today we're going to be having venison tenderloins. I'm going to show you guys how I season them. And I'm going to be making a mushroom, onion, and garlic cream sauce to top onto my tenderloins. And that's going to be a very special thing for you guys to learn because you can put that on almost any kind of meat, any kind of steaks or venison. It's really good. You guys need to try this one out. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to season with some garlic salt, or garlic powder, I should say. Some pepper. And put as much on as you like. Put some salt on there. And some rosemary. And like I've said previously, put your rosemary in your hand and crush it up so you get more flavor out of it. This is important if you like flavor. We're gonna flip them over. Man, don't they look delicious. Alrighty, so today we're going to be cooking this at a nice slow temperature. It's going to be 275 for about 25 to 30 minutes. You want to start checking it at about 20 minutes so you do not overcook it. You cook it nice and slow like that and it's going to come out super tender and it is really good. So we're going to start chopping up some vegetables. And for vegetables, I got onions, I got mushrooms. I got some asparagus, which I just break the ends off of those. I got some green peppers, and we're gonna get the chopping. Okay, everybody, we're ready to throw it in the oven. Like I said, 275 for about 30 minutes and start checking the meat at 20 so you do not overcook it. Got all of our vegetables on here. We use the same ingredients. We put some garlic powder, some pepper, and some salt on there. I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'm gonna show you how to start making the how to start making the sauce. I I have right in here right now four teaspoons of butter, and I definitely got it or a little warm. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to saute up our onions and our mushrooms and then we're going to make a roux out of it with a little bit of flour and then we're going to add some whipping cream and some milk and we're going to make a sauce that is unbelievable and it goes good on venison, beef. You have to try it at least once. All right, so I'm gonna add my mushrooms and my onions. And we're gonna start sauteing them. You want to cook everything down to it's a little bit translucent, especially the onions.
Okay, everybody, we got our uh, onions cooked down translucent enough. We're going to add some salt and pepper. And we're going to do this to taste. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add a little bit of flour so we can start making the roux. You don't want to add too much. You don't want it to taste like flour. Mix that up a little bit. Get our thick engaging going here. You can see how nice and brown all the stuff starting to look. We'll let it brown up a little bit more. And then we're going to add our some whipping cream and milk, about a 50-50 mixture. And then we'll let it thicken up a little bit and we're going to taste it. We may have to add a little bit more seasoning. So I got a 50-50 mixture of, of whipping cream and milk in here. Just want to go ahead and dump it in. I'm going to start mixing it up. Make sure you're stirring it so you don't burn your milk. It's going to cool off so you want to turn your heat up a little bit so it'll thicken up. As it cooks down a little bit, it's going to thicken up here. It'll take a take a few minutes. Alrighty, it's starting to thicken up a little bit. Turn the camera off, not to bore you guys too much. Watching me stir it, so I'm going to taste it a little bit. Now it's getting a little thicker. See if we have to add any more seasoning. It's almost there. We're going to have to add a little bit more salt and pepper. Stir it up. Don't let it burn. If it burns, it will not taste good. You can turn the heat down a little bit. You can see she's thickening up really good. And you got to be really careful not to use too much flour in this because you don't need much because you see how it thickened up. And I only used a little bit of flour, maybe a Maybe a couple tablespoons of that, and it, it has thickened up pretty good. That's what you want it to do. Let's taste it again. Now we got it to stop boiling a little bit. Don't want to burn it. So just about there. Actually, that's really good right there. I'm just going to leave it alone. Actually, I'm going to turn the heat down. It'll thicken up a little bit more. You let it thicken up a little bit more, and then we'll... Get the tenderloins out, slice them up, and put this mushroom sauce on top of it, and it will be delicious. So we'll be right back with the final result. Okay, everybody, we're here with the final results. We got the plate all decked out here. We got the tenderloin on there with the mushroom sauce drizzled over the top. We got the mashed potatoes with the mushroom sauce in there. We got asparagus, the green peppers, and the onions all cooked up. The sauce takes a little bit of practice but when you get it right it's awesome and i'm going to taste test it here and see what i think i think it's going to be pretty good and it is excellent that is good thank you guys for watching have a good night